Well, this is Artifacts of Mars. And today, we're going to start something a little different. I'm going to do some Bible readings. Let's get one thing straight. I'm not a preacher. I'm an agnostic. I'm an old redneck from western New York. Let's get that straight right now. So, what you're hearing is my own opinions. I'm sick and tired of these preachers who won't teach the Bible for what it says. If you actually teach what's in the Bible, you'll be branded a heretic and nothing flat. But I'm going to try this anyway and see if it works out. Alright, let's get going. We're going to start off with Genesis 1. And uh, later on we may skip around. I'm going to do just Genesis 1 for now. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth, and earth was without form, void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. In other words, this is saying that the earth was essentially a big dust cloud. Kind of what I have always been taught. It was a big interstellar dust cloud. And that's bo buoyed up by line 3. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw the light, that it was good, and that God divided the light from darkness. And God called the light day and darkness. He called night and the evening and the morning and the first day. Now, here's my commentary on this. Okay, so we've established... But apparently the earth had been formed into a ball, though it doesn't say when, and that apparently nuclear fusion was going on in the sun that was heating the earth in the evening and morning of the first day. We got that all established, right? And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. That's confusing, but here's I can say tell the saying the atmosphere and the ocean. And God made the firmament and he divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament and it was so. That's confusing, to say the least. Now, if you look here on Wikipedia, it says, Firmament is the sky conceived as a solid dome. So, sky is considered to be a solid dome. That's very interesting. Uh, we'll see why in short order. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together in one place, and let, let dry land appear, and it was so. And God called dry land earth, and he, gathering together the waters, he called seas, and God saw that it was good. So there he's putting the water on the earth, all that. No problems. Let the earth bring forth grass, the earth yielding seed, and the fruit yielding trees fruit after his kind who seed is in itself upon the earth and it was so. Let the earth bring it forth. So either somebody planned it or if you're into evolution it could be talking about evolution. I'm wishy-washy on the subject and I'm not too favorable towards evolution theory, by the way. And the earth brought forth grass, and the herb yielding seed after his kind, and tree yielding fruit, and whose seed was in itself after his kind, God saw that it was good. Evening and morning and were the third day. I want you to understand one thing about these uh, days. It doesn't say that they were contiguous, right? So, this could have been done, you know, first day could have been done, and the second day would be 500 million years later or something. doesn't say there were or were not contiguous days. 
God said, let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, seasons, and days, and years. And God made... And let, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and it was so. Well, this is odd because up above, we all we already showed that uh, God created the light. And the lights, uh, apparently, the sun, nuclear fusion starting. Now down here it says, "Let there be lights in the firmament, heaven." God made two great lights, greater light to rule day, and lesser night light to rule night, and all he made stars also. Well, how do you like that? Greater light to rule the day, lesser light to rule the night. He made stars also. Well n neither of those two is true in all cases. For instance, the moon isn't even visible for three nights out of the, uh, three nights out of the month. Basically, because there's three days when the side that faces the earth is dark. So, my thinking is that's probably some sort of uh, artificial lighting. And that's my guess. And, you know, it talks about this dome. So I'm going, what the hell? So that's probably what it is. And then it talks about let the waters bring forth one only moving creature and life, and follow it may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. So, you know, it's saying basically the atmosphere is heaven. It doesn't say this ethereal place. It says the atmosphere is heaven. It's right here in the Christian Bible. Right there. Let it bring forth great whales, every living creature that moveth, and waters, every winged fowl. God bless them, saying, Be fruitful, multiply, and fill the waters and seas, and let fall multiply on the earth. In the earth. Okay, in the evening, morning, and fifth day, and then it talks about creating the cattle and all that. And then we get down to 27. So God created man in his own image, and the image of God created he, him, male, female, he created he, them, and God blessed them and said unto them, Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl there, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Well, this verse, verse 28, He's t God is telling these humans to replenish the earth. Which means there had to be something on the earth before. If you're replenishing something, then apparently it was empty and something was supposed to be on it and wasn't on it anymore. So the question is what came before these uh, humans? But it's, this is before Adam and Eve. So right here you have the Bible saying that there were humans on the earth before Adam and Eve. Preacher man won't say that. And behold, I get, have given to you every herb-bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you it shall be for meat 
to every beast of the earth and every fowl of the air and everything that creeps on the earth wherein there is life and I have given every green herb for meat and it was so and God saw everything that he had made and behold it was very good evening morning and sixth day well you know here we have You know, he created humans before he ever created Adam and Eve. This is according to the Christian Bible. I'm not making that up. It's right here in black and white. It also says that birds fly through heaven, which means what you're hearing about heaven is that it's our atmosphere, the atmosphere of the earth. And uh, it's a solid dome which is another problem. But my interpretation of all this, with two lights, one that rules day and one that rules night, yada yada, my interpretation is that there is some kind of a habitat that was created on the Earth. That's a tough call. But, you know, it talks about creating the, uh, day and night, which means the sun, long before it talks about two lights. And then you have to ask the question, and it is necessary to ask us, how do these people know to write all this stuff down? They weren't there. If God showed it to them, how? Where? See, these are the questions that have to be asked. And you know, I love it when it says, Let the earth bring forth living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing and beasts of the earth. It's like the earth is creating these things. Not God, but the earth is creating these things. That's how I interpret that. Well, what does that mean? I have no idea. So God created man in his own image, the image of God created him, female. Mainly created them. That's about it for this segment. I'm a little stumped, but it's very odd. God first created day and night, and then God created these two lights, one to rule day and one to rule night. Uh, and in the Bible's own mission, is some sort of a dome that everybody everything was living under. Very, very peculiar. You'll never hear the preacher man say that. It gets weirder, believe me. I'm going to call it for now, and perhaps we'll do another one, and another one, and another one. Later on, we'll probably skip around some. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.